sweet gum, 蜂香 hamamelly daisy, 金柳梅科 This is a deciduous tree, which may grow up to forty meters high. The leaves usually turn brilliantly brown and red in autumn, and may become detached during winter. The leaves are alternate, simple, and three-lobed, with a tooth margin. The leaf apex is acute, and the base is more or less heart-shaped or notched. The leaf stalk is long, with a pair of stipules at the base. Camphor tree, Zhang Shu, Lauraceae, Zhang Fo. This is an attractive evergreen tree, with a dense crown of shining dark green aromatic leaves, growing to a height of about twenty meters. The trunk is very distinctive in having a series of vertical cracks in the bark. The leaves are alternate, simple. Elliptic in shape, with an entire, somewhat wavy margin. There are three distinct, strongly protruding veins arising together from the leaf base, suggestive of the appearance of a bird's foot, and a useful diagnostic feature for all Cynomomum species. There is a pair of small glands on the upper surface, close to the point where the midrib and two lateral veins arise close together. The upper surface of the leaf is smooth and shining, whereas the lower surface is somewhat bluish and dull. The leaf gives a strong smell of camphor when crushed. Cinnamon tree, Yum Hong, Lauraceae, Zhang Fo. This is a slender tree growing to five meters high, with purplish brown branches. It is similar to camphor tree in several ways, but differs in lacking a trunk with vertical cracks. The leaf is more or less elliptical, glossy green on the upper surface, and lighter on the lower surface. The leaf also shows the bird's foot. Arrangement of veins, a characteristic of the genus Cinnamomum, but lack the protruding glands found in the camphor tree. As a typical member in the Lauraceae, the leaves have a strong camphor smell when crushed. Tall bottle brush, Chun Chin Lau, Hong Ping Cha Ji Shu, Mertesi. This is a species introduced from Australia. One of the prominent features is the trunk, which has thick longitudinal cracks. The branches are flexible and drooping, bearing red. Hairy inflorescence, resembling bottle brushes hanging down from the tree. This is why we call the tree bottle brush. The Taiwanese call it Hong Ping Sua Zi Su. The leaves are alternate, simple, linear, with pointed apex and base, lacking a leaf stalk. When crushed, the leaves give a strong smelling, reminiscent of eucalyptus. The fruit is a woody capsule, formed in cluster on the drooping branches, resembling chains of Chinese coins, and this is why the tree is called Chun Chin Lao in Cantonese. Twin pot cassia, Shang Ga Wai, Kaisal Pinesi, Su Muk Fo. This is a leguminous plant, growing to a maximum height of three meters. The compound leaves are alternate, pinnately divided with three to five pairs of leaflets. The leaflets are more or less obovate. Between the lowest pair of leaflets, there is a gland on the leaf axis. 
the base of the leaf stalk is swollen, forming a pulvinus, a diagnostic feature of all leguminous plants. The fruit is a pod, which is cylindrical, somewhat sausage-shaped, rather papery in texture, containing numerous shiny brown seeds. The pods frequently mature in pairs. This is why the plant is called Xiong Gap Wai in Chinese. Acacia, Tai Wan Xiong Si, Mimosesi, Hum Sou Chou Fo. This is a graceful evergreen bushy tree, native to Taiwan and the Philippines. The trunk has a grayish brown bark, bearing many slender, somewhat crude branches. The true leaves that are characteristic of Mimosesi only present in the seedling stage. When grown up, the leaf blade is reduced and the petiole becomes flattened performing the usual functions of the leaf blade. Such a leaf-like petiole is called a phyllode. The phyllodes are crescent-shaped, narrowed at both ends, rather leathery in texture, smooth with entire margin, and three to five parallel veins. April is the flowering season for acacia. The flowers are very small and numerous, grouped together in spherical yellow heads, a diagnostic feature of the mimosaceae.